Looking for the next Einstein in Nigeria's rural north, the Science on Wheels project is run by the Voluntary Service Overseas and has so far allowed more than 7,000 students to do scientific experiments. The main objective is to ensure that we improve the quality of teaching of science and math subjects you know, in secondary schools. We're piloting in these schools, in 15 schools in Katsina State, but the idea is that we're hoping that other civil society organizations, government, stakeholders would actually see this as a good idea. And in the context of low budgets, we are able to do this in a way where you have a rotational system where a lab is rotating across several schools. Many schools in Nigeria's countryside are underfunded and lack proper facilities. And it's only now that Umar and his friends have been able to put theory into practice. The lab science, we have a lot of equipment. And with the help of me being here under the VSO, they cannot be able to say, yes, this is an acid, this is the uses of an acid. This one is a big car, this is a pipette, and the uses of a pipette in the practical. And right now, they can be able to have the confidence of conducting the practical by themselves. A World Economic Forum study ranked Nigeria among the last in maths and science education. But poor funding has not just been reflected in poor results. It has also failed to trigger interest in science, a problem this project is also trying to address, and so far with success. The morale of the student has been boosted. They now develop interest in, in, in learning sciences. And it's ultimately hoped that projects like this can set the wheels in motion for a future Nobel Prize winner. John Joe Regan, TRT World.